I feel like I've got a lot of anger. You would never know that I'm a very angry person because I keep it all bottled up inside of me. Melissa has not really expressed uh, anger towards me. She's always been sweet, kind. She never expressed anger. When I'm angry, I let out a deep growl. It sounds something like this. I'm afraid one day, I may not be able to control my anger and I might hurt somebody or maybe even kill somebody. Before the break, I was talking to Melissa who revealed secrets that she vowed to take to her grave. Now I excused Melissa's parents, Donna and Mark, because I wanted to speak to her one-on-one. -on -one. Now, Melissa, this is something that anytime somebody talks about this, there are a lot of different ways people can react to it. People can say, oh, she's just doing this to get attention. This is just somebody that's played too many video games. This is somebody that just has fantasies in their head, et cetera, et cetera. But as you noted, I have sat in prison and talk to young women just like you who had thoughts and feelings just like you who on impulse did just what you're describing and killed people that they profess to this day that they loved very much. So I take very seriously what you say. Uh, people that talk about doing horrible things sometimes do those. So I, I don't scoff at this. I, I take it very seriously. Um, and when you tell me this kind of thing, I, I find it, I, I take it upon myself that I need to warn people that you're talking about. And I intend to do that very thing today. And when I look at this excerpt from your plot to escape, you said, tomorrow I will finally be free. I need to sneak out of the apartment with my backpack sometime between 7.30 and 8 without Donna seeing me. Then I will get an Uber to the airport. My plane will take off at 10.30. Once I get on the plane, I will finally allow myself to relax. Until then, I need to stay calm and act like everything is fine. I can't show my excitement. Otherwise, Donna will know something is up. I can't say goodbye. I can't tell her what I'm about to do because she would try to stop me. I will ignore all phone calls and texts. I have told her in the past that I would one day leave and never speak to her again, so she will know. I'm not exactly running away from Donna. I do want to get out of here out of fear that I will hurt her. Even if I hurt her emotionally, I won't have the chance to murder her. Now, a couple of questions. You say that you grew up, and at least until age 10, things went really well, and that you think you had a happy childhood. I find yes, it that interesting that you refer to your mother as Donna and not as mother or mom or whatever. Tell me what that's about. Last year in August, I decided to disown my mother and brother, and it was just, I had gotten so much anger pent up over the years, and I did not know how else, how else to express it. Did, did you refer to her as mother or mom or whatever up until that point? I did, and I would even say I love you, just so she didn't think anything was weird or wrong, but Eventually, I did stop saying I love you to her, and that was around the time that I left. And you did it because you wanted to distance yourself from her emotionally, disown her as a mother, so yes. you just started calling her by the name you would call somebody in the world. Yes. Like you'd call that somebody is at work or at the store or down the street. Just hi, Donna, not hi, mom. And it's because you said the hatred mm -hmm. built up so much in your heart. So what is it that you hate her so much for? 